Hi guys, it's Rachel again. Today I'm coming at you with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, what my recommendations are, and just me kind of talking through the sales and whatnot. So it looks like from the mailer I received, I love getting these from Ulta. I really do truly enjoy looking through these from Ulta. I actually sit down and take the time to enjoy the beauty products. I've done this for basically since I was a member of Ulta in 2009. <laughs> Um, and not just the 21 days of beauty, but just in general, I do enjoy looking through these. So for Sunday the 13th, which is tomorrow, today's the 12th, the first product I'd like to highlight is of course the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is one of the ones that people will just stock up on so they can enjoy that product at a discounted price for the entire year. Looks like it says it's going to be on sale for, of course, half off, which will be $11.50 during the sale. Apparently, a first-time steal is this beauty blender. Again, this will be featured tomorrow. And all these sales are just kind of like flash sales. It's a one-day sale. You can get the product that day on sale for half off. If you've tried beauty blenders, you know they seemingly last longer than the lower end counterparts. So getting it half off would be a deal. Now I've shied away from using the beauty blender. I more tend to like to use the Eco Tools Bio Blender, which is a biodegradable sponge. I just like the idea that there is a biodegradable sponge out there. The next item that I would like to highlight that I think people will really be interested in is the Smashbox full-size primers. They're regularly $39 and during the sale they'll be $19.50. I'm not really one to use primers, but if you are, they will be on sale on Monday, March 14th. And then moving forward from that, there's quite a few skincare products on sale half off, you know, expensive skincare products like Vital. On the 15th, it'll be half off. Regularly $99. It'll be $49.50 during the sale. I might on the 13th, so tonight, at midnight, I might get the Tula SPF. It's a SPF of 30. Tula skincare seems to be a pretty good skincare. So I figure I might try that. And LMS. I like to use the 21 Days of Beauty to also stock up on some more expensive face creams, eye creams. During a previous 21 Days of Beauty, I got a Lancome eye cream and it was originally $80. I got it for $40. And I think I also used my points so I didn't even have to like purchase it with my money actually. The next day that I'd like to highlight is Thursday, March 17th. The Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm is on sale. I was actually interested in that because this is becoming a more popular product for people to use on their lips, more juicy, more, you know, light wear lip products, not something that's super pow in your face or drying. So I thought I might try those and they'll be on sale for 1050. Here's a couple of the colors. Looks super cute. Also that same day, the Kat Von D, or sorry, Habit, KVD Beauty Tattoo Liners will be on sale if you like liquid liner. I think liquid liner is beautiful. I just don't really take the time to do it. Um, but if you like to use liquid liner, that's a good deal as well. It's only $11.50, half off, of course. It says on Friday, March 18th, there will be a Too Faced surprise steal and then on Saturday March 19th I'm not sure if I said Friday March 18th or 19th anyway Friday March 18th Too Faced will have a surprise steal and then Saturday March 19th Lancome will have a surprise sale so stay tuned for that that's when I like to tell myself to go look that day because I really do love to see what their surprise steals are on Sunday, March 20th, Buxom will have their full-on plumping lip creams on sale, available in 20 different shades, and they'll be on sale for 
So I actually have one right here that I'm trying to pan in my Partners in Cream Project pan. This is in White Russian. It's like one of their most popular shades. I got that. Well, I just dropped it. But I got this as a free sample with purchase from Ulta at some point. It says I got it on 915. So I must have purchased it around, you know, like 910, somewhere in there. And I received it to my house on 915. Ooh. This might be an interesting one too. On the 21st, the Urban Decay Brow Blade, which is like their dual ended product. It has the like pencil on one end and the, um, the ink on the other end. It's going to be on sale for $13. So that's kind of exciting. First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream will be $18 on sale, half off on Tuesday, March 22nd. Another exciting one. I know Jaclyn Cosmetics might be controversial. Her products are actually good. I've got a highlighter. I've got an eye, it's like a glitter topper, but it's stunning. And I, I'm not one to really try liquid lipsticks anymore, but her liquid lipsticks are on sale on Wednesday, March 23rd for $10 instead of the full price at $20. On Friday the 25th, Benefit will have a surprise steal. And on Saturday the 26th, Fresh will have a surprise steal. What I'm super excited for though is that the It Cosmetics CC Cream will be on sale for $21. And their brushes are also going to be on sale it says foundation brushes. So I guess only one brush. That's kind of disappointing. I've actually gotten their brushes for less than $12 before. I've gotten them for like $10 a pop. And I have a couple of them. But I don't know if I'd want to buy that one. I've tried buying like every single one. And I only kept a couple that I really liked. I don't really like using foundation brushes. I always use a sponge. But the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I'm definitely going to pick that up if I can. For me, it's a struggle to stay up until midnight. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do that so I can get that product. After that, the more exciting thing again is a liquid liner. On Sunday, March 27th, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner will be on sale right here. It'll be $11.50. So again, if you like the, if you like doing, you know, liquid liner, that'll be a fun thing for someone to purchase who really enjoys that. On Monday, March 28th though, I love Peter Thomas Roth's products. I've actually tried this one before. The, what is this called? Water Drench Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. So I've tried that, it's beautiful. I love that serum. And I got it during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty when it was half off because I would not want to spend full price on it. Um, it's regularly $52 or $65. I think it's the $65 one. Because the other one they have on sale is the moisturizer. And I think the serum is more expensive. So that's super exciting. Monday, March 28th, that'll be on sale. I might pick that up again. I might not. I have quite a few beauty products. <laughs> Um, another one that's been super popular is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. I might pick this up, but I might not just because I am really wanting to get the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I know the It Cosmetics CC Cream works. I've had full size. I've, I bought the full size first actually, and then I got a sample size later on in one of the Ulta goodie bags, just like I got this in an Ulta goodie bag. I got this in an Ulta goodie bag. I've gotten this in an Ulta goodie bag. I get a lot of stuff from these Ulta goodie bags. Um, so the goal is to get the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Maybe I'll pick up this Urban Decay Hydromaniac Glowy Tinted Hydrator Foundation. It is only $14.50 in the sale, which is substantially less expensive than the It Cosmetics CC Cream at $21, but I do love the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's just stunning. Um, the next interesting one in my mind is the Benefit Gimme Brow on Friday, April 1st. 
that'll be on sale for $12. I've heard really good things about that. Maybe I'll pick that up. But I did just pick up three brow gels on February 28th. I made a purchase and I just went over the products I purchased in another recent video that I've made. So I don't know if I'll pick that up. I do believe, yeah, it's tinted. So I could get um, another one with tint, but I do have the Essence, um, basically the Essence version I have of this. And they have two of them. So I don't really know if I necessarily need that. I did need a clear brow gel, so I purchased three to try out. And I think I like them. This is the ColourPop, what is it called? ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in this eyebrow. And this one, I have that new NYX, um, the Brow Glue. Honestly, I think both of them are good. They're keeping my brows in place. I have really long eyebrow hairs, if you can see. So it's nice when they keep my eyebrows in place. On April 2nd, I'm actually really excited because I do like this mascara, so I might purchase it again. I might not just because I do have quite a few mascaras in my collection. Let me see. My makeup inventory will tell me how many I have exactly. Mascara, oh, well, I guess I don't have that many. But my goal is to have only five mascaras at a time, and right now I have six. So if I were to purchase another, that would put me at seven. I don't really want to keep increasing the number of mascaras I have. I get a lot of, you know, free samples with purchase. Yet another one. Um, but this one's actually really good. I do like this Maybelline Sky High. It's what I'm wearing right now. But I get a lot of free samples with purchase, free deluxe size samples with purchase, um, especially mascaras. It's like one of the things Ulta will always throw in their little free goodie bags. And I usually only purchase when they have some type of free goodie bag. So I'm usually never at a loss for mascaras. But I do know I really like that Man Eater Mascara. It's, by the way, it's the Tarte Man Eater Mascara that I might purchase. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I will be getting that. But I am interested in it. And then... For the surprise steals, it looks like on Friday, April 1st, Foreo will have a surprise steal. And then on Saturday, April 2nd, Too Faced will have a surprise steal. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say really about that. The other piece of advice I have is now that I've gone through and kind of like talked over with you guys what I wanna buy, what I'm going to do, what I've already done for one of the products, which is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the one I really, really want. Um, like I really, really wanna make sure I try and purchase that during the sale. It's a really good time to buy it. I may actually buy two. I know, I already know my color, but for some reason, I'm actually pretty good at matching myself to foundation online, and I usually never have to exchange it, return it, etc. Um, so I might purchase one or two of them for the It Cosmetics CC Cream. What I usually try and do though is I'll put it in my cart on the Alta app, and then I'll save it for later. So instead of sitting in my cart, it'll be like kind of sitting underneath my cart, which my cart right now is empty. And right now I have the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the color that I know I am saved for later under my cart. So then on the day that it's on sale, I will go on, which I guess it's on sale on March 26th. I'll go on the Alta app and I'll see, oh, that thing that I have saved for later to buy is on sale today. And I also put reminders in my phone of what days I really wanna look during the 21 days of beauty. So I'll probably have a reminder on March 26th to look. I'll probably put a reminder on March 17th, just because I want to try those Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms. I'll probably pick one or two shades of those Juicy Lip Balms and save them for later as well. Now, I usually don't like to go overboard with, you know, anything that's new. So like the Maracuja Lip Balms, like I said, or yeah, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms, like I said, I'll probably pick one or two shades, save them to my cart, or put them in my cart, and then from there, save them for later so they're not technically in my cart. And 
And then when the day comes, I can decide if I want one, if I want two, or if I want to even purchase any of them because I do have quite a few lip products right now. Right now I've got, let's see, seven lip liners. So that's what my goal is to have seven lip liners. I have 12 lipsticks or sorry, I have 15 lipsticks and I have 16 lip glosses. I guess I have 15 lip glosses now since I did just use up this Too Faced High Shine Lip Gloss in Sunset Crush. So I guess I only have 15 lip glosses now. I think I have about 20 lip balms though. And I don't know if I would want to technically count this under a lip balm. If it does have a tint to it, I'd probably more so count that under like a lipstick or a lip gloss because I would more than likely use this product with a lip liner just to keep it inside the lines of my lips. But I'm not sure if I'll purchase it, but I am interested in purchasing it. And then as I said, the Peter Thomas Roth, I'll probably get one of those. I'm not sure if I'll buy the Buxom full on plumping lip creams. I know this is a steal that's usually an ongoing one, so it's probably not the last time they'll be in the sale. And I'm not really the biggest fan of the cooling effect that it gives on my lips, nor do I really care to have like a plumping effect on my lips. I feel like my lips are fine looking. I don't really need the plumping effect. Um, so I don't know if I'll necessarily buy that. More so just because the cooling sensation that I don't like. It just makes me feel colder and I'm already a pretty cold person. My hands are freezing right now. So I don't necessarily know if I want to buy those just because they're going to make me feel colder and I don't. I mean, that will be great in the summer when it is hotter, but right now it's like, whew, it's kind of hard to think about the summer right now when we just got snow two days ago. And another one that I might save for later in my cart is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. So I think that's it in terms of products I might buy. Just the Peter Thomas Roth, the Tarte Man Eater, maybe the Hydromaniac. But I feel like I would have to do some more research on that before the day comes for the Hydromaniac to be on sale from Urban Decay, which is Tuesday, March 29th. So I do have, you know, a couple weeks basically to figure out if I would want to purchase that. Um, because I've heard varying things about it. I do like, you know, more glowy, lightweight products for my foundation, so to speak. What whether that's a CC cream, a BB cream, or just like a lightweight foundation. But I really don't do full coverage foundations anymore. So I might be interested in buying that. I am almost done using up another foundation, so I wouldn't mind cycling one more in, but I really would prefer, honestly, I don't think I should get the Urban Decay one because if I'm saying right now that I would prefer the It Cosmetic CC cream, then I should just probably get the It Cosmetic CC cream. So I think that's all I have for you guys today for the also 21 days of beauty sale. So just watch out. There's new sales every day. Honestly, I think it's good to log on every day. See if you find something that interests you that day. Um, because you never know. Like I said, I just kind of bought the Peter Thomas Roth, the serum. It was like a maybe like a year or two years ago on a whim, just because I felt like I wanted to try it. it. Seemed like a lot of people, like in the, you know, I look at the reviews as well. In the reviews, people were raving about it and saying how wonderful it is. And I can attest to that now that I've used it and I've used up a full one. So I might purchase that again. I do have quite a few serums that I know I need to go through as well. So I might, I might not, just depends on how I feel that day. At any rate, that's what I have for you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Bye.